When the speaker in this poem sits down alone to eat her dinner, she finds herself musing on solitude, self-pity, family relations, neighbors planting flower bulbs, and an old flame. A self-mocking humor pervades the poem, even as the speaker ruefully acknowledges that her failure to take a chance has landed her in her current plight. Something to think about. How might a self-mocking attitude or tone illuminate a situation in which you find yourself or give you some room for a humorous approach to a serious subject? The roast chicken. When I set the roast chicken in the center of the table and sat down alone to eat, I understood the meaning of my life. That morning when I squirted the lousy Cambridge water into the coffee pot, I knew why my sister took her life. The first night, I ate the roast chicken in honor of couples, in honor of the labor and elegance of compromise. The second night, I ate the roast chicken weeping with self-pity because I had no partner to designate on my health plan form should I become incapacitated, my life sustained solely by machines. The third night I picked at the chicken and considered how my life has been a flight from family and how I've arrived at middle age without one. Who will remember with me the old North Broad Street train station? Who will bike with me to the drugstore in Mount Airy for my sister's medication? Who will know the hatred I harbored for my father, who could not tolerate noise? And who will love me now that I have become him, a person who cannot tolerate noise? Who will ask me about the Saturdays I wandered around Chestnut Hill my senior year in high school with a little money in my pocket, looking at earrings and developing expensive taste? Now I watch my neighbors kneeling in the early November cold to plant their spring bulbs. Their faith amazes me, for today I understand that by such deeds human goodness is recognized. All week, the brick streets of Cambridge have been saying goodbye, quietly hushed by leaves, like a lover who knows it's over and speaks kindly finally in a cafe before she disappears. And you're left knowing that she was your best chance, though she would say your best chances are the ones you take.